Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Peru. How is it going? Today we're going to another football match, but this is a very different football match for me because this is my first ever Copa Libertadores match. I love the Copa Libertadores, which is the continental competition of South America. So all the biggest teams in South America compete and this is a group game between Alianza Lima and Libertad of Paraguay. So it's my first ever, it's actually my first ever major continental, top tier continental game. Um, I've never been to a Champions League game in Europe, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous because going in with the uh, Alianza fans and I don't really know what to expect of going into a match in Peru. My first ever game in Peru, so we will see how it goes. But hopefully we can get some good coverage of the ground. Probably won't be able to film much of the game because they're probably be quite tight and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll see you when we get a bit closer to the ground. Kick off, kick off is at nine o'clock tonight, but I'm heading down a little bit early to try and get some food and a drink and then soak in the atmosphere and just see what's going on down there. So it's a bit of a trek though. It's about just over an hour walk. So I'll see you on the other side of Lima. That's the first view of the ground. To be honest, there's not a lot around here. So. There's more going on. That's the pub shirts. Now you can actually tell there's a game going on. I've just bought two beers for five dollars, which is one pound or just over a dollar. This is the road up to the stadium, you can see the stadium there. It doesn't look massive, but I think it like holds like 30 up there. There's people selling stuff. And not a massive amount at least. Compared to some games. But I guess it's unlikely to be away fans. In fact, there probably aren't away fans. This is the first proper look at the stadium. You can see that it looks quite smart. It's kind of not what I expected, it's kind of a round a bowl stadium. Massive car park. And there's a big hill in the background you can see kind of. This looks like it's the main entrance. I'm not really sure where I'm going in to be honest. Okay, we're in Stadio Alejandro Villanueva. Even though they tried to ask my physical passport, which is ridiculous. Why on earth would I be carrying that around with me? But we are in. Showed them a photo and he was like, okay, go. They didn't seem overly sure where I was supposed to go. Because the ticket was in English. I know the one's in English, so that was helpful. But the inside's quite interesting. So it's a food thing and a club shop. That's the first look inside. So it looks like the stadium looks really small because it's built into the ground. So yeah. So it looks like we've got on the side opposite where the teams come out, so it should be good. I've never seen this before, there's people leaving belts on the way in. Which seems really fucking pointless. And this is the way into the stadium. As you can see, it's dug into the ground. And it's already pretty full. Cool. So let's go into the ground and basically bag the first seat I could, which is right at the front. But pretty awesome view. We're right to the halfway line. I should be able to see everything. But this is a really cool little ground. Fences behind the goals.
20 minutes to kick off. We've already got a band on the go. Basically every seat is taken. This is crazy. In England, everyone would be in the pub. Here, every fucking seat is taken. It looks like there's a TIFO coming our way as well. I'm not really, I'm not really sure what's happening. Lots of people whistling.
go free kick on the edge of the box.
say, it's all over 2-1. You've been a bit unlucky, to be honest. Hey guys and welcome back. Um, it's actually the day after the match yesterday. Basically got home at like midnight last night and yeah, it was a late night. So I thought I'd just record this today. It is a beautiful day in Lima today. And I'm about to go and kind of wander around down to the beach and chill out for the day. Um, but I kind of wanted to recap on last night's game because it was my first couple of Libertadores match and the atmosphere was pretty incredible. Hopefully it comes across in the video, just how good the atmosphere was, but the the intro that the teams had out onto the pitch with the fireworks and uh, the ticker tape flying all over the place was the most incredible I've ever seen at a match. It was, it was crazy. It was like being at a cup final. It was really awesome. Um, and the fans all the way through, like we've seen across all of South America, were amazing. Um, especially the fans behind the goal were just insane. <laughs> they were incredible. But the game itself, I thought Alianza were a little bit unlucky, to be honest. The first goal was a corner. They looked like hit someone at the front post and then hit the defender and went in for an own goal. And then Alianza equalised pretty quickly afterwards, but it was ruled out for offside. No idea if it was offside or not, but the VAR check took about three minutes, so it must have been really close. And it was unusual because the referee went to check the VAR screen for the offside, which doesn't happen in Europe. So that was weird. Um, they were a little bit unlucky there not to have that immediate equaliser, but I thought Libertad grew into the game in the second half. They were the better team to start with and they scored a really good goal through the number 10, whose name I forget, but he was really, really good. Um, he scored a really nice goal, and then he was unlucky not to get a second when he kind of chipped the keeper and it hit the post after a ridiculous piece of play by the number 21, who they got, um, they got a drop ball because the ball hit the ref. So he dropped it and the number 21 hit this outside of the foot pass, his left foot, which is incredible, out to the right wing. And they crossed it into the middle and the number 10 uh, hit the post. So he was a bit unlucky with that. And then from there, Lima dominated the game, to be honest. They, they had a few decent chances. The substitute striker, the number nine, came on and hit the bar. And they eventually got their reward for it um, in injury time. So like two minutes into injury time. And they pushed for the equaliser, but they obviously couldn't find it in the end. But I thought they played well enough. They're one of the best, well, statistically, they're one of the best teams in South America this year, this season. So at times they showed it, they, they looked good going forwards. Maybe lacked a bit of a ruthless edge. Maybe lacked a little bit of pace up top, I would say. They didn't really threaten Libertad's goal that heavily, if I'm honest. But it was a good game. The main thing was the atmosphere, fans were incredible. So it was another country to tick off in terms of going to a football match in South America in a South American country. And it was awesome, I loved it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you like seeing these videos of just trying to capture the passion of South American football. That's what I'm trying to get across in these videos. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We've got about another month of traveling, so I'm going to going back to Santiago on Saturday, and that's the last leg of the journey. So heading back home at the end of June. But hopefully we'll have some more videos to come from Santiago. I've well, definitely got one more from Lima. So yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll speak to you soon. All right for now, bye.